as we go into infrastructure development, there's great risks in terms of things not being done according to spec, not being done on time, and sometimes not being done at all. In his budget vote speech earlier this year, Finance Minister Pravin Gordon announced that government will invest a staggering 847 billion rand in infrastructure development over the next three years. He told the joint sitting of parliament that about one trillion rand had already been spent in infrastructure development in the last five years. The massive infrastructure investment is not only meant to develop our cities, towns, townships and rural communities, but it is also aimed at improving the quality of life of South Africans, as we've already noted. Through the construction of roads, railway lines, ports, power stations, hospitals, schools, dams and shelter, the vision, the constitutional vision that promises our people an improved quality of life is going to be realized. Of course, uh, the constitutional vision is not dependent only on infrastructure. There are various aspects of life that need to be addressed through service delivery. But Things such as quality transportation, electricity, public health care, education, water, sanitation, and housing are key to an improved quality of life. Why so? Because the Constitution promises everyone an improved quality of life in the preamble.